In this video, I am going to show you how to run DeepSeq R1 or any other open source large language model locally on your computer. This is a very simple tutorial and will work even if you are a beginner. And once you installed your model locally, you can use it even without an access to the internet. So you don't have to worry if your personal data will leak. And this will cost you nothing. Sounds good, isn't it? So let's get started. And to run our models, we are going to use an open source application called Ollama. And uh, don't worry about the Llama part in the name of this application. It uh, can help you to run all different open source models, not just the Llama. So go to the Ollama.com and download the version for your operation system. I will download for Mac because I am using Mac. And once it's downloaded, just double click on the file to open it and it will ask you to move to applications if you're on Mac and you can say yes and then it will also ask you to install the command line tool and you need to answer yes and click install and yeah here it will ask you about your uh, admin access so grant it the access and after the command line tool is installed you can just go and run your model just with one line command. So let's go to the terminal and try it. Uh, it suggests us to try with a uh, llama, so let's do so. And you can see, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. You can see that our old llama pulls the model's file to our local machine and it is two gigabytes, so it will take some time. And now our model is downloaded and you can ask something uh, or just say hi just right here in the terminal. And it responded as, as you see already. Uh, so uh, this is our old llama and llama model, it is working. So now let's try to run DeepSeq. And to do so, we are going to go back to our Olama website and go to the library, to the models. And you can see here uh, on the very top, there is a DeepSeq R1 model. And if when you're watching your, uh, this video, it is not on the top of the list, just search for it, just type here in the search DeepSeq and you will get it in the search results. Uh, so uh, here is our models and you can see that there are different versions of this model here. So what are the difference between them and which one we should use? And the main difference between these models is the amount of parameters and parameters represent uh, the size of the model. More parameters generally mean better performance, but also it requires a more computational power. So how do you select which model to use? Uh, of course, it depends on your hardware and if you can afford to run heavier model, you can go with it. But uh, generally, I suggest to start with a smaller model and if it satisfies your needs and requirements, then just use it. And then if it's not performing well enough for your tasks, you can always try the bigger model. But before we start playing with the DeepSeq, let's go and delete our old good llama model. To delete the llama, we run again all llama command and this time instead of run we run rm that stands for remove and just typing the model's name and in our case it's going to be llama 3.2 and it just deleted it so now we uh, freed our space for DeepSeq and we can download and run it and let me try with this one, with the 7 billion parameters. I'm not picking the first one because first one is the smallest one. And I want to have something a little bit more advanced and performant. So let's try to run this one. And normally it would also download it, fetch it like it did with Llama, but I already have it installed. So it just prompts me uh, to the command line tool to send the message right away and let's ask it hi who are you and
and you can see the response and it's uh, funny that it also responded with these tags thing so that's our model our deep seek locally at your laptop and it works and you can ask it any questions but it's not super convenient to do it in the terminal so let's add some ui to it and there is another open source library that provides us the nice ui for open source large language models just out of the box and this is the open web ui library and I'll show you just right now how to get it. So here is the repository for OpenWeb UI and there are some instructions, some steps, how to install it. The one important thing you will need to install it with Python if you want to run it locally or you need to install it with Docker. Both is uh, fair options and uh, there are some other installation methods but we want to focus on these two and personally I run it with Python just on my local machine and if you are going to serve it somewhere that's probably better to run it with Docker it's up to you but if you choose the first version you need to install Python first and if you are on Mac or any other Unix system you can install uh, the particular version of Python using pyenv and of course first you need to install pyenv so I'm going to show you it as well just in a minute so let's go to our terminal again and we are going to use brew to install pyenv first PyEnv it's a version manager for Python and it allows us to switch between different versions of Python in the same environment on the same machine. So uh, let's do it. And uh, because here it says that we need to run OpenWebUI on Python 3.11 and by default on my Mac uh, there is a Python uh, 3.9 installed. I need uh, to install this different version and uh, so I installed the pyenv actually I already had it so it just checked that I have it and now just go and install it with pyenv again it is already existing on my machine but you can just install it by this command pyenv install and then the version so now when we are fully ready and installed everything let's create our new python uh, virtual environment and why do we need virtual environment it is because you don't want to install all the packages all the libraries just in your operational system it will just clutter it and it's very hard then to go and delete everything uh, now let's check uh, if our python version is installed so let's run and versions and it displays us uh, the versions for uh, the Python we have in our system and you can see that the current one is system it's not the 3.1111 that we just installed so let's switch to our 3.1111 uh, and in order to do this I'm going to switch the directory and I'm going to create a new directory for our uh, web UI and then okay I already created it and then I'm going to uh, set the Python version for this directory pyenv local is a command and then I will say 311 and if I run pyenv versions again you can see that it sets to uh, 3.1111 and the next step would be to create our python virtual env virtual environment uh, pyenv virtual env and let's say env and now it's created and we need to activate it so it would be pyenv activate env and you can see that it changed uh, how it displayed in the terminal it shows a little uh, string here uh, the env in brackets it means that we are now uh, in the activated environment and now we can do whatever we want it all will stay in this environment not in our system so now let's run uh, pip install openwebui 
and it downloads a bunch of stuff and just installs it. And now it is installed, so just last command that's left is to run OpenWebUI serve. And once it's ready, we will be able to see our UI on this localhost 8080 URL. So let's just wait for it. And now when our application started, we can go to our localhost. And uh, if you are opening uh, web UI first time for the first time on your PC or Mac, you will see this get started page. And uh, then you need to register but remember that the first uh, account you register here will be your administrator account so carefully remember what you're typing in here uh, so you're creating an admin account or alternatively you can change it in the uh, settings of web ui uh, to not ask for login but it will be most secure if you're using uh, some kind of authentication here and uh, by default, it will just connect to your Llama, to your Olama, and uh, if it's running, it will show you all the models you have. And here it just shows me the DeepSeq R1. I don't know what is this Arena model, to be honest. So it says submit your questions to anonymous AI chatbots and what on the best response. Um, something funny, but not for today. So we have our DeepSeq here and we can select it and we can uh, ask everything uh, you want and it's going to be processed on your local computer. You don't have to send your data anyway, you don't have to pay for it and it's all under your ownership and your responsibility. Um, so yeah, I just ask some random question and yeah, it is thinking and if you want to expand this thinking you can see all the process of uh, the reasoning and it gives us the answer uh, so that's it that's our deep seek r1 up and running locally on your machine and i think it's amazing uh, amazing power you've given uh, to run uh, large language models locally independently and yeah it even shows the preview of the code. That's pretty cool. I didn't know about this feature, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, I encourage you to try it yourself to play with this, uh, all these amazing open source tools um, that you can use and you can build your stuff on top of it. That's it for today. I hope it was useful for you. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below the video. I'll try to answer them. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for my channel.